in terms of manned space travel, if you're outside the magnetosphere in a big solar storm, large amounts of radiation passing through your body, dire health consequences. These particles can become trapped inside a region of the magnetosphere known as the Van Allen Belt. They present a real hazard to astronauts. NASA scientist Sten Odenwald studies its effects. These are like magnetic bottles, if you will, where the particles are trapped and bounce back and forth between the magnetic north and south poles. Uh, and they represent a fairly lethal environment. If you were uh, an astronaut in a spacesuit in the Van Allen radiation belts for too long, you would receive a lethal dose of radiation. Apollo 11, Houston, in the blind, uh, air boss has the visual contact. Astoundingly, at least 39 astronauts have developed some kind of eye cataract four or five years after exposure to this dangerous radiation. As our protective magnetic field weakens, the risk to life increases. Professor Gary Glatzmeyer wants to know how much weaker the Earth's magnetosphere is going to get. He creates a remarkable computer model of Earth's magnetic field. We can't reproduce exactly what the Earth has done in the past or what it's doing right now. What we're trying to do is get the model to simulate something that's qualitatively similar. Glatzmeyer runs the computer model continually. Each year of real time represents 100,000 years of simulated time. He observes how the magnetic field evolves over the millennia. Around 36,000 years into the simulation, something unusual happens. After being away for a couple of weeks, I came back and looked at the results and then realized that it had reversed. And it was exciting. Glatzmeyer's experiment shows that magnetic north and magnetic south switch positions. This is the surface of the model Earth. This is the surface of the model core. The field is directed inwards here and outwards there. The field is much more complicated on the top of the core. Now the reversal is occurring. The field is now directed outwards there and inwards there. Glatzmeyer's model shows that the magnetic poles swap places spontaneously due to complex processes within the core. We're very used to the idea that a compass points somewhere near the North Pole and hence we can use it for navigation, but there were periods in the past when the compass would have pointed in exactly the opposite direction. Glatzmeyer's research also suggests that there's a decline in the magnetic field strength before and after these reversals. Does this explain why the magnetic field is currently weakest beneath the South Atlantic? Are the magnetic poles about to flip? We've never witnessed a reversal, so we don't really know what it would look like. Well, we could guess. And it would almost surely take the bubble of the magnetosphere and contract it inward, closer to the surface of the Earth. If this is the start of a magnetic field reversal, our planet will face increasing exposure to cosmic radiation for thousands of years to come. So far, the random reversals of Earth's magnetic field have only been seen inside a computer. But for concrete evidence, scientists turn their attention to the volcanic islands of Hawaii. Locked inside this ancient lava is a pristine record of Earth's magnetic field stretching back millions of years. Professor Emilio Herrero Bavera is searching for clues to Earth's magnetic past. One of the reasons why we're coming here is because we're looking at lava flows that are relatively thin. You can see the boundary of this lava flow, and this is the other boundary. From here you see another one, and another one, and another one. All these fantastic sequence of lava flows, we're talking about 300 flows, 400 flows.
molten lava from these island volcanoes accumulates over millions of years. When the lava flows hit the seawater, they cool rapidly, creating snapshots of Earth's magnetic field strength. By analyzing different samples of lava, Herrero Bevera has built up a picture of how the field has changed since long before humans were around. They are actually the recorders of the Earth's magnetic field in hundreds of years, thousands of years, and this is what we need actually to know something about the Earth's magnetic field. Lower layers of rock take Herrero Bervera progressively further back in time. To unlock the information, he takes a sample of the ancient lava. As well as showing how the field strength has changed, the sample will also reveal another vital piece of information. So we're going to orient our sample now with a magnetic compass. He carefully notes the sample's exact location. And we will we're going to measure the magnetization of the sample we collected in the field. Back at the lab, he analyzes it using a magnetometer. Like pottery, lava contains magnetite. When it cools, particles of magnetite line up with the Earth's magnetic field, like tiny compass needles, recording both its strength and its direction. In this sample, the magnetite aligns with today's magnetic north. This sample was in place in the past 700,000 years when the field was actually characterized by a normal polarity. But in older samples, they discover something incredible. The magnetic particles point south rather than north. They date back to a time when the magnetic field polarity was the opposite of today's. There was a reversal actually recorded by these lava flows. I will be actually able to see a sequence of points that are actually defining the behavior or the evolution of the magnetic field from one polarity to the other polarity. By analyzing thousands of lava samples, geophysicists discover that the Earth's magnetic field has reversed over 18,000 times in the last 20 million years. On either side of these reversals is a long period of dramatically reduced field strength. During this process of reversal, the magnetic field drops very significantly in intensity. And this happened many, many, many times throughout Earth's history. You know, the Earth is four and a half billion years old, and I'm saying it happens every few hundred thousand years or so. Years of research reveals that the last flip occurred 780,000 years ago. It's easy to understand why there's such an interest in the possibility of a magnetic reversal. The last magnetic reversal occurred more than three quarters of a million years ago. And so, in a real sense, we're overdue for another. And so the question is not if another reversal will occur, but when. Many scientists now believe that the South Atlantic anomaly is the start of a global magnetic field reversal. The decay of our magnetic field will accelerate with serious consequences for life. The kind of radiation we're talking about is known to damage DNA and RNA and cell structure and it is a serious cause of cancer incidence.